After 30 minutes of continuous gameplay, what would be the better reason? If you have already subscribed, then big thank you to all of you guys. Comes with the same specifications as. Hello, friends, I'm back again with another video. This time it is about this Motorola Power One. Okay, this phone comes with a massive battery that is 5000 mAh battery. And if you're looking for a phone, and your preference is battery then you must go for it and in this video what I'm uh, trying to do is that we'll be checking on how good is this in terms of playing games like how can this handle heavy graphics games like PUBG and Asphalt 8 or 9 okay so in this video what I'm going to do I'll be playing games for 30 minutes and we'll be checking the graphics the you know battery drain everything will be checking because i checked this nokia 6.1 plus the gameplay was awesome but the problem is that the battery backup is really poor i would say so if your preference is actually stock android and you want a really good battery backup and you can actually uh, sacrifice a bit in terms of camera then you should consider this phone now let's check uh the gameplay okay so let's first check the battery temperature okay and the battery level here you can see the battery level at 88 percent and the temperature is 33 that's quite normal so we'll be checking after 30 minutes of continuous gameplay what would be the battery drain and the temperature so let's get started and before that if you're new to my channel then do hit the subscribe button and if you have already subscribed then big thank you to all of you guys and let's get started so we'll start with PUBG because this is one of the games that um, nowadays people are playing so here you can see the um, uh, how long will it take to load the game so you can check that also and this phone comes with the same specifications as this Nokia 6.1 plus uh, Snapdragon 636 processor but the screen size of it you know it is on a bigger side it has the 6.2 inch full HD plus display it also has the same display Full HD plus but it comes with a bigger display okay and the big difference is the battery it comes with a massive battery that is 5000 mAh now let's check how good the gameplay okay so one thing straightforward it's very evident that the speakers are too loud okay because it supports Dolby okay so obviously the sound quality is far better than this Nokia 6.1 plus okay and it loaded the games quick quick i would say let's start so i have to actually reduce the volume because it is quite quite loud okay let's wait and the graphics seems to be fine one thing strange that i have observed when i install the game and in the first start you know the game loaded in low graphics so that is what that is something that is strange because um, Normally, in case of Nokia 6.1 Plus, the game loaded at medium level. So now let's start the timer here. You can see it is it has started. Now I'll be playing for 30 minutes. So around 15 minutes PUBG, then Asphalt 8. So the control seems to be fine. Okay, there is no problem. Okay, the control seems to be fine. But still, I would say what I have observed that the touch response is not that great. Okay, but it's fine. You know, there is no lag. There is no problem in that case. Okay, so guys, I'll be playing for at least 15 minutes and I'll be sharing with you, with you my experience. Okay. So I'll be back. I just died and what I have observed that the screen got freezed. Now it's not responding anything now it's not working so this is something is a matter of concern i would say because you can see that i just died someone killed me and now it's got stuck so it's not responding so let's wait and see what is there another thing that i have observed is that the touch response is not that good the graphics are fine uh, there is there is no significant um, frame drop but now you can see that the gameplay is on. You can, you know, get the sound. You can hear the sound. 
but here you can see that it's not responding it's not responding so this is something it's a matter of concern i would say because you can hear the sound yeah the sound is great it has this dolby certified speakers but i don't know what happened someone shot me i died and now the screen got freezed so this is something you know it's a matter of concern i would say right so you can see that it's not responding so let me just close it and then i'll play another round then let's check what's the problem here okay yeah again the same situation right so i think i was expecting good gameplay here but this is something which has surprised me you can see again right you can hear the sound the game is still there okay but it has stopped right so if you are using this phone and if you have faced this kind of problem then do share with me okay and um, that's it guys so now let's check the temperature i've just completed almost 18 uh, minutes of pubg okay uh, <laughs> still someone is firing at me uh, i don't know what's going on okay then let's check uh, the battery okay and the temperature the battery was at um, 88 so it has dropped to 84 and the temperature was uh, i believe 32 now it is 40 so it's a quite big jump i would say but 40% is um, not a not something which is we can call overheating now let's play um, at fault okay pubg experience was not that great and particularly the concern was that the game got freezed and the touch response was not that great okay now let's start with as fault okay let's see how well it can handle this game and as i was saying that uh, the the touch response was not that good when i was playing uh, you know the pubg game okay it was better uh, in nokia 6.1 plus it is far better but the problem is that the nokia 6.1 plus it really sucks in terms of battery backup okay so i can't recommend this phone for a, you know I can't re recommend this for a heavy gamer because the battery backup is not that good. Now let's start with this game, okay? And when I install this as far late, it installed um, you know get started with the highest graphic level, so that was a good thing, unlike the PUBG because it started with the lowest graphic and I set it to medium. Okay? Now let's get started. One thing that I really liked about this phone the sound is awesome. sound is something that you really you know you will like about this phone okay but if you are really pubg player then i don't think this is the phone that you should go for okay now let's start with the uh, asphalt here it seems fine you know the touch response is really good i would say here okay and the graphics are also fine it's uh, it's fine i would say So here again you can see it takes a bit okay there is no significant difference but still it takes few seconds more okay and the graphics are fine there is no complaint about that the graphics are looking really really cool really um you know what we can say vivid now let's get started so here you can see that uh, you know i'm not noticing that problem here the touch response is fine here Okay. Yeah, that's working working really fine. Even the gameplay uh, it 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 appears to be a bit better. Yeah. So it is good. So in terms of I would say asphalt, I don't think it has any problem. And the touch response is also really good. Okay. So let me play uh, this game for at least 20, uh, 15 minutes then I'll be checking that whether it has the same kind of problem whether the you know screen gets freezed or not okay so let me play this game for at least 15 minutes in terms of as far I would say it is handling the game quite quite good it is really good 
there is no lag, there is no, front, uh, no frame drop and the sound is something amazing, <laughs> right? I think actually I played the game, the, uh, the PUBG at medium level, medium graphics. I think uh, as it has suggested that, you know, um, go with the low, med uh, low graphics, I believe. So I will actually try once again with the low graphics. But in terms of this asphalt, it's pretty awesome. It's really good. There is no lag and the controls are working fine. Okay and uh, touches also you know there is no look you can see there is no problem whatsoever in terms of touch okay so asphalt perfect no problem so i believe that you cannot actually play pubg in medium obviously not in full graphics you know high graphics not even in medium so i'll be checking again um in low graphics okay so asphalt Thumbs up. So let's uh, set the settings at the lowest. So here you can see that the graphics medium and balance. Now let's do it smooth and low. Okay, and then we'll be checking how good the touch, touch response and the gameplay. So here, yes, 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 yes. Obviously there is a significant difference. And here you can see that the touch response is really good. And I'm feeling that it is running smoother than before. So I believe that uh, this phone, though it is actually coming with this Snapdragon 636, same like Nokia 6.1 6 Plus, it actually can't play or run this game uh, at medium graphics. So that's it guys. I believe that um, this game is fine. You know, the gameplay is fine if you're playing, if you're playing at uh, lowest, you know. And that problem was caused because I said that uh, graphics at medium. Because when I started this game, it started with the lowest graphics, but I changed it to check because this Nokia 6.1 Plus can play, can run the game at medium graphics. So that is not the case in this case. So that's it guys, Asphalt 9, no problem. The gameplay was, was really good. And I like the sound output. The speakers are pretty awesome, I would say. And you know, the graphics are also fine. It's not like that you cannot play PUBG. It is actually fine. It is smoother now, but you have to play it at the lowest graphics. So I believe that you have got an idea that how good this phone is in terms of gameplay. And yes, obviously, if you are a hardcore PUBG fan, then <laughs> I would not suggest this phone because it was, uh, you know, it got freezed when I played it in uh, balanced uh, graphics. Now let's check the battery drop. Now I've just completed uh, 40 minutes, more than 40 minutes. Okay, so here we can see that it is 80% and uh, temperature has gone down actually balanced because uh, you know I stopped a bit while I was changing the setting right. So this is what 38% uh, so there is no overheating issue and even the battery drop is better. It is I would say far far better than Nokia 6.1 plus. So if the battery is a concern then you must go for this. Yes, you can play the PUBG game at the lowest graphics. That's not a problem, I would say, because battery is a big problem in this Nokia 6.1 Plus. So I believe that I've got, um, I've given you a, you know, overall idea about the gaming performance. The gaming performance is good, but you have to play PUBG at the lowest graphics. That's it, guys, in this video. And I believe um, you liked it. So hit the like button and do subscribe and do share with your friends. So till the next video, cheers.